Hi there, this is a brief comparison between GPU and CPU rendering. GPU is the graphics card and CPU is the central processing unit uh, which every computer has. My graphics card is able to ray trace and uh, it's pretty speedy and uh, I'll show you an animation just in a couple of minutes uh, but before that different uh, rendering stills from that uh, animation so we can compare things easily. This was done using the GPU rendering so the graphics card did this image whereas this was done by CPU rendering. Um, let me show you the next sequence here. This is the next one and uh, so this is a GPU graphics card and this is CPU. What you see instantly is that the transparency is not being rendered by the GPU but the colors are okay uh, apart from the rest so everything is fine we see the diffuse shadow of our creature here that means uh, that uh, the GPU understands that it's kind of um, transparent in a way but it doesn't show us the transparency holes here in this texture here. Next image. From the side little window and we see a blue creature here who is by the f by the way a default creature in, um, in the Maya content browser the Cyclope. Uh, I just colored it blue with um, a bump map and uh, this is the CPU rendering. Not much of a difference really. GPU CPU. The next image is this one. Quite interesting. Here you see this is the CPU rendering. You see the bump map here. The shadow is uh, very good and uh, we see the transparency here but we also see and you'll uh, recognize that in the animation much more detailed that there's a frosted glass sort of plane in front of our creature here. This is the spotlight which shines from the top, from the well, from the front onto that semi transparent glass, through that glass, onto our creature and drops that shadow. The GPU rendering of the same uh, scene looks like this quite different and uh, not quite understandable for me why we see these two objects here behind him because this actually is in front of him. So finally frame 400. This is the GPU rendering, the graphics card. Totally shiny and flat character here with a nice diffuse shadow on that frosted uh, well, reflection on that frosted glass. Same applies to that window all nicely re reflected here and the CPU rendering looks like this which shows us the bump map texture and basically the same. It's, uh, it's not much of a difference really. GPU, CPU, GPU, CPU. But before I show you the animation this is the rendering time. The GPU Blue Man rendering started at 9 o'clock in the evening and ended by at midnight so it took about 3 hours and 30 minutes and immediately after that I started the CPU rendering with a quite high anti-aliasing setting. Instead of 3 I used 5 which increased render time dramatically. Blue Man started at um, basically half past midnight and ended at noon which is 12 hours and 30 minutes later. So the rendering took three to four times longer with the CPU. That's what the GPU is famous for. But now you see the limitations. Not so drastic here. Not so drastic here. But quite drastic here. With this I leave you for now and wish you a very good day. Bye bye.